Three, two, one. Oh darn, I tripped over my shoelace. It's a good thing I know how to tie them. Knowing how to tie your shoes is essential to life, and you will come across many loose shoelaces along the way. Let's rewind to when we were five and look at how to tie your shoes. We let's get tangled up in the alternatives to tying your shoe. The procedure of tying your shoe and how it can benefit society. The main alternatives to tying your shoe are Velcro and just loose laces. Velcro can be an easy way to secure your shoe, but it does have some downsides. Sometimes you may find yourself needing to tighten your shoe, maybe in a class or even a really important business meeting. Now nobody wants to be that guy that makes some very loud noises and is disruptive and you'll find with Velcro that when you go to adjust them, it can be very loud. But with shoelaces, it, you can adjust them quietly and unnoticeably. Another good thing about shoelaces is that they come in many different colors. This way, you can switch out your shoelaces often and easily. With Velcro, you are stuck with whatever the shoes give you. Many people are very lazy and decide to just skip tying their shoes and just loosen their laces so they have the ability to slip on and off. Now with stepping into your shoes very easily, you can also step out of them very easily. So that causes people to lose their shoes often while walking or running or doing anything. With shoelaces, when you tie them, they will secure your shoe to keep on your foot where they are meant to be. Now that we have tied the knot on why shoelaces are the best option, let's look at the procedure. The first thing you do is pull out the tongue. Then you will grab the laces and pull upwards to tie in. Next, you will wrap the free lace around the other lace, pulling out to tie in. Now it's time for the fun part. You make a bunny ear, and then you wrap your free lace around your thumb and the bunny ear. Once you have wrapped it around, grab the free lace with your thumb and middle finger and pull through to make a second bunny ear, then tie in to secure. Let's watch that a little bit faster. Right. Now, I know all of you probably find this very intriguing, but you might be wondering, how does knowing how to tie my shoes benefit society? Well, I'll tell you. According to ABC News, Sophia, a seven-year-old girl, uh, fell by tripping over a loose shoelace and broke her kidney. She hit her side on a curb in the fall, and one-third of her organ was damaged so badly that it might be not repairable. If Sophia would have known how to properly tie her shoes, she would have two full functioning kidneys now. Uh, by tying your shoes, society will experience less accidents and less broken kidneys. Let's gather all our information up and tie it all together. We lived through all the alternatives uh, with Velcro and loosening your laces and how tying your shoes is better. And then we tightened up our knowledge on the procedure of how to tie your shoes. And finally, we stumbled across how uh, tying your shoes benefits society and saves lives. I hope I will untangle the five-year-old you and refresh your memory on how to tie your shoes. Thank you. Thank you.